Hey there guys, so today we're going to do a little tutorial for this lens cap for your SLR cameras that I found on Pinterest. Um, we're going to start out with the list of everything you're going to need. You're going to need the lens cap, the older kind, not the newer kind. You're going to need fabric of your choice and color, um, a pen or pencil or something that will write on the fabric but not bleed through, um, and then embellishments. I got some metal butterfly stickers, some beads, and some embroidery floss. Um, and then you're going to need regular Mod Podge, and I don't have it pictured, but you're going to need a foam brush for that, and then you need Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and some scissors, and let's get started. So here we have the lens cap. Sorry for the bad angle. Um, I'm still new at this, so sorry about my arm always being in the way. You're going to cut out a little square of the fabric so the rest isn't in your way. Put it upside down on the lens cap, and then you're going to trace the... Um, inside main circle of the lens cap. Not the full out lens cap, but like where the little ridge is. You're going to trace the outside of the ridge um, as straight as possible. <coughs> Get a nice circle there. And then when you have that all drawn out, you are going to cut it out. Uh, one thing that I suggest when you cut it out that I did not do here is cut it slightly larger than your uh, lines are drawn because uh, it ended up being slightly too small. Um, it's a lot harder than I expected to get it to be exactly the right size. Um, so yeah, you're just going to cut that out and then um, place it on the lens cap to make sure that it fits. You can't tell by this angle, but it is too small, but that's okay. You won't be able to tell by the time I'm done. And then once you have that placed on there, um, you get to fiddle around with your embellishments. I hadn't planned on using beads with this one, so I didn't get any purple beads, but I had a few pink ones to try out. Um, I planned on not having anything around the outside and keep it really simple, but it's too hard to make a perfect circle. So we're going to embellish it. Um, I ended up not really liking the pink beads. I made a blue one where I used blue beads, and that one looked really good, but the beads were a lot tinier. So didn't like that, so I'm going to try the embroidery thread. Um, which actually ended up being the perfect size to fit in the little, like, indent that goes around the circle. So it ended up working perfectly. Still keeps it simple. So then you're going to take your foam brush, and here's where I'm going to switch angles because my arm kept getting in the way, but hey, it didn't really fix the problem. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're going to put a uh, decent layer of Mod Podge around in starting inside the groove. You don't want to cover the entire lens cap with Mod Podge or your lens cap will stick and not work. Um, but you're going to put a decent layer. You don't want it all blobby and stuff, but you don't want it to be too thin either. So just put like a decent even layer going all the way around it. Um, and then once that's all set, you're going to just clean up the edges. I just use my finger. You can use whatever you want really. Um, and you're just going to clean off all the excess that got on the outside edge because you don't want that there because you'll be able to tell and it won't look as neat. So you're going to get that all cleaned up and then you're going to take your little circle of fabric and place it on the now Mod Podge lens cap and you're going to push it down nice and even. I decided to use a push pin for this because it has the flat back on the on the one side. <coughs> so you're just going to kind of push that down and around and then there's the sharp end in case you need to use that. Um, the sharp end is really good if you're going to place beads and stuff like that. But just make sure that it's pushed down really flat and even and doesn't have any bubbles in it and if it's too small for your thing make sure that it's centered evenly um, and that it's the same amount of area exposed on the outside of it so that you can get it all covered properly. <laughs> Once that's done, you're going to put another layer of Mod Podge on the top um, to seal it up and make sure that it sticks. So you're going to paint that all around it. And sorry about my hand. <laughs> no angle was good with how I had the camera set up. I'm going to have to figure out a different method, but oh well. So we're going to just keep on Marjapodgin. Sorry, I should have cut this part shorter. Um, once it's all even, you're just going to end up uh, just cleaning off the edges again like you did before. Um, on the Pinterest, where I found it on Pinterest, they had one 
where the edges look perfect even without putting any beads or anything around the edge and that's what I plan on doing with this one because my old camera that I made the first one for is a diva but my new camera she's she's more simple so I wasn't going to go all bling on her um, so the string works I guess but I was going to keep it just super simple I just couldn't get the circle perfectly done so once the edges are all cleaned I thought I cut this part out of the video but <laughs> apparently I did not sorry about that um, once that's all set then you can place the uh, embellishment so the beads or in this case the string if you do use beads I definitely recommend getting the tiny 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 seed beads the pink ones that I had to use for this I think didn't work just because they were too big of a seed bead so get like the super tiny ones but here's a spot where the pointy end of this comes in make sure you're placing the beads or the string when the Mod Podge is still wet because it helps hold it in place um, with the string be careful not to like pull too hard or it'll start to unravel um, but you're just going to put that around and then when you get to the end the tricky part is to get it cut off in just the right spot um, so just carefully snip that off and then you can get it all laid together to look like it it's just one continuing circle um, so just give that a snip and then um, do any touch ups for it may have uh, you know fallen out of line and then just make sure the strings you know all the way up against the edges and then this part is optional but I did choose to very 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 carefully place another layer of Mod Podge on top of the string um, it should stick with after the final touch and everything it should be staying without this but I just like to make extra sure that everything is all nice and set so that it can't get messed up so just go ahead and put the Mod Podge around that uh, again and then just do all your little touch ups make sure it's all nice and even wipe off the edges all of that jazz and get it looking all snazzy so we'll just give it a quick wipe down here um, this one I definitely did cut shorter <laughs> uh, okay so next you're going to take I have the metal butterfly stickers um, they have little foam back so I ripped those off so it would lay flatter I picked the size and shape that I liked and then here what I'm doing is I'm trying both directions with it to see which way I like the sticker with the pattern of the fabric better um, and then you just make sure that the little pinchy things are even on the sides so that your camera lens is straight and then very carefully place down the center embellishment and press lightly um, you don't want to mess up the fabric but you want to make sure that it's pressed down so it's going to stick in the drying Mod Podge and you're going to have to let this dry for a little bit it shouldn't take too long um, just throw something on the TV or something or go cook dinner or something like that um, shouldn't be hard uh, it really doesn't take too terribly long to dry but you don't want to do the last step until it is once it is finally dry take your dimensional magic which this was this project was my first time working with it um, it's a cool uh, type of subject but it is a little bit tricky um, definitely do not do it as fast as I'm doing it in this video because I messed it up because I was impatient so you're going to fill in the whole area with this stuff but it does kind of spread um, once it's in and it keeps piling up and you also have to be very very careful like don't shake the bottle or like stop squeezing and re-squeezing a bunch or else you're going to get bubbles and once you have a bubble it's impossible to pop and then it ends up drying in it and everything like that um, the tricky part here is that it does start to bubble over the edge which I didn't want I think it works a lot better with the beads with this part because the one I did that had beads it didn't bubble over but at the end I ended up having to mod podge the edges that's why they're so shiny um, I didn't want to have to do that but I kept trying to fix my mistake and it kept getting worse and it was growing and it was alive and I ended up having to like scrape some of it off and it was just a hassle so just go nice and slow and be really careful with that stuff but this is the finished project it's nice and shiny it doesn't come out as good as the blue one that I did first but I do like this fabric a lot better and I still think it's really pretty um, and this is the first one that I did it's not a very good picture but that's the first one I did with the matching camera strap so I hope you like this tutorial and give it a try. Thanks. Bye.